welcome all of you to this video. Till now, in geometry, we have learnt about polygons and their types, angle sum properties of quadrilateral, trapezium and kite. Today we will learn about another important element in geometry, the parallelogram and its properties. Here are some examples that you might be familiar with. You can see that a parallelogram exists in all these objects. So, can you guess how many sides and angles are there in a parallelogram? Well done! Because a parallelogram is a type of quadrilateral, the parallelogram has four sides and four angles. So, let's understand the parallelogram with the help of a game. Two friends, Raju and Ramesh, are having a discussion. Raju drew parallel lines P and Q on a page like this. Ramesh drew a line I that cuts two parallel lines. Raju drew a line M parallel to I in a way that gives them a polygon with four sides. Naming the vertices A, B, C and D. Raju says the figure A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. So can you tell Raju what is the special name of quadrilateral A, B, C, D? This shape is made up of two pairs of parallel lines. A quadrilateral in which both pairs of the opposite sides are parallel is called a parallelogram. So let us now understand the characteristics of a parallelogram. Join the vertex A to vertex C and vertex B to vertex D. We find two diagonals AC and BD of the same quadrilateral intersecting at the point O. Now cut the shape ABCD with scissors. Because this quadrilateral is composed of a pair of two parallel lines, the opposite sides of this quadrilateral will be parallel. Now, if we cut this quadrilateral with respect to the diagonal AC in this way, we get two triangles ABC and ADC. By placing one triangle on top of the other, you can see that the triangle ABC completely covers the triangle ADC. Consequently, we can say that the two triangles are mutually congruent. With the help of which, we get to know that the sides AB and CD and BC and DA will be of equal measure. Also, angle B and angle D will also be of equal measure. And if we cut this quadrilateral with respect to the diagonal BD, we get two triangles, ABD and BCD. By placing one triangle on top of another, you can see that triangle ABD completely covers triangle BCD. Hence, we can say that the two triangles are mutually congruent. With the help of which, we again get to know that the sides AB and CD and DA and BC are of equal measure. Also, we find that angle A and angle C are of equal measure. Therefore, we can say that 
the opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and equal and the opposite angles are of equal measure. Now, can you tell the sum of all the four interior angles of this parallelogram? Perfect! With the help of the quadrilateral angle sum property, we can tell that the sum of all the angles of a parallelogram will be 360 degrees. We have just seen that both pairs of the opposite angles in a parallelogram are of equal measure. Using it, we can write this equation in another way also. Similarly, we can find the sum of angles B and C, angles C and D and angles D and A. This is 180 degrees. This leads to the conclusion that the adjacent angles of the parallelogram are supplementary. Now the question is whether diagonal AC and BD have equal measurements. Find the length of diagonal AC and BD using a scale. You will find that measurement of diagonal AC and BD is not equal. If we fold this parallelogram in such a way that the vertex A completely covers vertex C, now if we fold this quadrilateral in such a way that the vertex B comes over the vertex D. By doing this, we get the midpoint of the diagonal BD. This is point O. This is also the midpoint of the diagonal AC. Since the midpoint of the two diagonals is the same, we can say that both diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other. You can verify this by measuring the diagonals with the help of a scale. Today in this video, we understood about the parallelogram and its properties. In the next video, we will see some examples based on these.